All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so before we jump into it, let me, um, well, this is a Capricorn reading, of course, duh, you need to know that. This is for my Capricorn Zodiac signs, <laughs> before we dive in. Let me just say this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. It could be messages for someone else, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross, and if you need to, please, please flip the energies that best resonate with you. Um, so, of course, we're going to dive in and get the overall energy with the Romance Novel card. Let's get the overall energy with the Romance deck here. See what we got. What is the overall energy for my Capricorn Zodiac sign for August 2020? What is the energy you would like me to see? What are the messages you would like me to give? And let's pull. You deserve love. You are lovable. Oh, yes, you are. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. Okay. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. All right. So let's uh, deep dive in and find out what's going on. Let's clarify. You deserve love for Capricorn. Clarify. You deserve love for Capricorn, please. Clarify. You deserve love for Capricorn. What do we have? Can you clarify, please? I'm going to shuffle and we'll pull. All right. Let's pull and see what we have here. Okay. Two of Pentacles. The Emperor. Two of Wands. Okay. Knight of Cups. All right. So, what I'm seeing is you deserve love, okay? With the Two of Pentacles here in the Emperor, all right, I'm automatically feeling, of course, Pentacles is you. That's Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. You're feeling very relaxed about whatever's going on in your life. You're feeling like you have an overall balance here. Um, I feel like you are in control of everything. Um, this is like maintain, maintaining the balance in your life and um, with all types of area in life as well as like love, finances, things like that. I feel like you have that under control with the emperor here, okay? The emperor is showing that you have that stability. You have that... Um, financial stability that uh, control over your life that a lot of people want that they cannot get okay you have a lot of ambition as well um, a lot of achievements you could have had in life you could have accomplished a lot of things or you're making some accomplishments this month um, but I do again feel like you're very you're in a really good position because you're balanced and you're stable okay balanced and stable that's good now I do feel like there's, with the two of wands, there's two situations going on here in your life, okay? This could be two people. This could be two situations. This could be a person and a job or uh, two jobs going on or anything like that, okay? But with the, uh, the Knight of Cups falling behind it, I feel like this has something to do with someone coming in, announcing that they love you. So this could definitely be two people, okay? Or again, it could be a job and a person, all right? To me, I feel like you're very focused on your finances and your stability. So I feel like with this two of wands here, you're having to make some type of decision. You know, do I continue to focus on myself with my finances, my stability, or do I choose to go down this road with this Knight of Cups person? Do I choose to um, allow this person to come in and offer me this love, okay? This Knight of Cups is Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. So someone's definitely wanting to come in. And, 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 and I feel like they're they're needing to let you know how much they love you and how much they care, okay? Um, they're very, um, I feel like there's a lot of deep feelings here with this Knight of Cups. I feel like they're really, really in love with you. And they really are coming in pretty quickly the way that the horse is on the back hind legs, you know, trying to go in. I hope you can see it because it's kind of blurry with the light here. But I feel like they're really trying to rush in to let you know, hey, I care about you. I love you. You know, I, I, I adore you. I have so much love for you. I'm in love with you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like there's definitely a situation going on. Okay. Two of Wands. You're, there's some type of decision that definitely has to be made. I'm not sure what it is. Okay. It could be a possible partnership, you know. Maybe with this person. Maybe you choosing to be with them when they come in with this offer. Or it could be you making the, the decision that you don't want to be with them, you know, not wanting to go down that route, you know. Uh, but let's keep going. Let's move on to uh, wedding. Let's find out what's going on with wedding. Why is wedding here for Capricorn? Zodiac sign, August 2020. Can we clarify wedding, please? 
I shuffle and then I'm going to pull. All right, let's see. What is going on with the wedding? Okay, King of Pentacles. Wow. Uh, King of Cups. Okay. Queen of Swords. All right. And Five of Wands. Okay, so with this wedding here, I feel like, okay, there's two kings here. Okay, there's two kings. Now, that does, that's not necessarily saying that there's two males or there's two females, okay? There's two masculine energies here, all right? So you could be female when your masculine energy is portraying through this reading, all right? Um, but I feel like you as the king of pentacles, okay? That's you, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, all right? Capricorn, that's you showing you have stability, you know? You are financially stable. You have all things that you need. You feel secured. You got the bag secured, okay? You have everything that you feel that you need, all right? Now, there's also this King of Cups energy, and I feel like this is this Knight of Cups coming in for you, okay? This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. This person is here. They love you. They they adore you. They are a very committed type of person, very dedicated to you, very emotional in their feelings and things like that. But I feel like there's, uh, with there's, you know, they say two kings and, and one castle, you know, it, it's it's some tension there. It could be some tension. It could be some butting of the heads. So I feel like you have a very, um, you have a very strong masculine energy as well as this person has a very strong masculine energy. However, one is more um, financial stability type wise, like thought process, okay, with the uh, king of pentacles here. This is like, um, the king of pentacles is like a very, it could be like an entrepreneurial type of person. Um, someone who can be very blunt as well, okay? You can be very blunt, like when it comes to um, feelings and things like that, you know, you kind of just get straight to the point. Because you're like, in your mind, you're a very business-minded type of person. You really look at the facts and the money and the, and the uh, results, you know what I'm saying? So you're a very rash type of person. You're like, hey, look. Okay, this is what it is. This is what it's going to be. However, with the, the cups person, this is a very warm and uh, thoughtful person. Like, they think about, um, before speaking, how that would make you feel. You know what I'm saying? So, they think about it first. A very caring and uh, very creative person. But, again, they, they really think about the way uh, their words may affect you before they speak them out. However, you, you kind of just let it rip, you know. Um, so, I do feel like whoever this person is, you guys could be married. Okay, you, you could be in a, a marriage, or this could be like a proposal coming in with this Knight of Cups person. They could definitely be coming in, proposing to you, letting you know they, you know, hey, I love you. I don't want you going anywhere. I want to be with you, all right? But with this Queen of Swords energy, that energy is in there, okay? That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, all right? With this Queen of Swords, this person is, um, you guys really use your, your mind a lot, and I feel like this is you as well. You, um, you're on a very intellectual level here, okay? Uh, you are very like a, a no-nonsense type of person, so I feel like in this relationship, there's a lot of um, maybe disagreements here, or it could be like a lot of, how do I say, it? you guys speak your mind, okay? Because with you both being in the king's energies, but two separate king's energies, you guys both have, you know, like I say so, you don't hold back when it comes to it. You're like, nope, I feel like this way it's going to work, and this is going to, this is how it's going to be. This is going to be the result. And then the other person is like, this is how it's going to work, and this is going to be the result. So I do feel like you guys kind of uh, are a little combative, not trying to be, you know, not not trying to come at a negative type of way or anything like that, but I feel like it's because opinionated. That's what I'm looking for. You you both are very opinionated, okay? Um, you guys really, both of you speak your mind, and, you know, it is what it is. Hey, look, it is what it is. This is how I feel, you know? This is what I got to say. So I feel like your mouth kind of gets you into trouble, <laughs> Capricorn. Uh, your bluntness kind of gets you into trouble. And then with the King of Cups, like, I, I feel like it's, you kind of say, you know, it just spits off at the mouth. And then the King of Cups person is more like, oh, you know, well, let's talk about it, you know. So I feel like there's a there could be some very, some debating here. I'm not sure what it is. It could just be some little arguments here about a few things if you're in a marriage it could be the marriage here going on so it may be something maybe making a decision here with this person i don't know if you are making a decision you guys recently um got engaged and are talking about marriage or you guys are trying to work on this marriage or trying to work towards a relationship or something like that is how i'm feeling okay 
Or this could even be like, I don't know, maybe you guys are talking about moving in together. I don't know, with the finances and career. Could be talking about moving in together as well. Maybe making some type of movement. Or maybe you guys are living separately right now and you're trying to come together as one. I don't know. We're going to see. Let's um, clarify finances and career. Let's find out why is finances and career here. Clarify finances and career for Capricorn, August 2020. Clarify, please. What is the energy of clarifying finances and career? All right. So we have Knight of Wands. Oh, yeah. See, the Fool. The Empress and the Seven of Wands. I knew it. I feel like it's some type of, I feel like you guys are making some type of movement, okay? You're definitely making some type of movement, yeah. See, Six of Swords is on the bottom. I knew it. But the Knight of Wands, this could represent movement, okay? So you guys could definitely be maybe talking and discussing about moving in with one another. Uh, or making that big commitment because this could represent a commitment, you know. Here with the Knight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, King of Cups. They may be saying, hey, you know, I love you, I want to live with you, blah, blah, blah. And you're over here in the King of Pentacles like, well, you know, I pay all my bills on time. You know, I'm never late, you know. You know, I, you, you got, especially with the, the Emperor here, you're in control. And the Two of Pentacles, um, you're very relaxed with how you are doing. Because you know you, you got everything controlled. You got everything handled. And this person may kind of react off of emotions or feelings, and you're like, I don't know, look now, we got to have this together before we be moving in. So with the Knight of Wands, I feel like this, there's an offering of moving in together, some type of movement, maybe moving in, moving cities, um, moving to a different town or something like that. And although there's a lot of excitement here, okay, there's a lot of excitement, I feel like with all of this going on over here, you're really thinking rationally about it. You're thinking financial-wise, okay? You're thinking financial wise, all right. You're like, you know, if, if I move in, you know, will everything be okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because this could represent like a change of home or like a long journey. So it could be like a very long movement or a very far movement, or it could just be like a traveling of something. It could be a traveling of something. Um, but there's a lot of fire behind it, and there's a lot of passion behind it, as well as excitement here with the fool. So I feel like it's something you're very excited about. Um, and you want to do it, you definitely want to do it because you're excited about it, but I feel like you're using your, your brain here with the Queen of Swords and you're really thinking about it before doing it. You're think, I feel like you're thinking it all out about how it's going to play out before you actually do it, okay? Um, let's see, the last two cards we have is the Empress and the, uh, what is it, Seven of Wands? Lord, what is going on here? <laughs> Alright, the Empress is a very nurturing card, so this is showing that you guys are wanting to nurture this relationship. Maybe nurturing this moving in together okay you see it as a lot of potential this can also represent like marriage and uh, becoming a mother or something like that a parent or something like that um, but i feel like this is going towards the relationship you know in order to make the relationship grow you guys are like hey you know if we move together maybe this would definitely put us in a better position to love each other grow our relationship things like that you know um Maybe you guys are having to travel a distance, a distance to see one another, and that could be a financial burden on one or the other person, and that could be an issue as well. And so you guys may be discussing, you know, making a move. It could be like a move to another country. Like I said, a long journey. could mo be moving to another country, another city, another state, um, another town. It could be like the town over or something like that. Um, but I do see this relationship getting serious here, okay? If you decide to take that route, I feel like it's this relationship is progressing into something very serious here with the Empress. I see our, our relationship growing and being nurtured here. But again, with the Two of Wands, I feel like you are really, there's some type of decision you're trying to make and you're like, do I go this way with this person? Because on this end, you know, everything's fine and dandy. I have control of everything. I don't have to depend on anybody. You know, it's just me and myself taking care of everything you know i don't have to depend on anybody else but you know this person's telling me they love me they're in love with me this is my person you know when you're in love you know you want to move in and be around that person all the time but you know you are you definitely got a lot of thinking to do about it okay what is the advice that you have for capricorn august 2020 
All right, let's see. We have moving on. Mm, okay. So I definitely see you moving on from this, this comfortable position. I feel like you are going to make this move. You are going to, you know, see what love offering this person has for you. I think you're going to take that chance here. The advice is take the chance, you know, go for it. Moving on, you know. Moving on from this comfortable position, you know, sometimes, what they say, sometimes you have to be uncomfortable in order to create new things or something like that. You have to get out of your comfort zone in order to learn new things. So I feel like you are going to make that move. I just think that you're trying to, you know, cross, dot your I's and cross your T's before doing it. And that's understandable because you don't want to go from being financially stable to living on the street, you know. I think you're just trying to make sure this person has their finances in order first, too. And that's fine. Throat chakra is the next card, yeah. I do see you discussing it with them. I, I see you being very vocal about it. Uh, you being very concerned as far as how they, their lifestyle is compared to yours. And that's understandable. Again, you know, sharing something with someone like a home and things like that, that it's hard. It's hard to do, you know, especially when you're only relying on yourself and you're doing fine by yourself. I feel like, you know, you, you really have to think it out. But definitely voice your opinion. Let them know how you feel. I don't. I feel like you, you're, you're not holding anything back. But yeah, definitely voice your opinion. But just don't make it argumentative. You know, get your point across. But you know, maybe watch how you're saying it. You know what I'm saying? Last card, opportunity beckons. Yeah, this is definitely an opportunity for you uh, when it comes to your finances and career. You never know. I know. I feel the excitement. There's a lot of excitement here. It could be you traveling, meeting this person, or something like that. Uh, but I do, I, I feel a lot of excitement here. And I feel like this is definitely going to be a good opportunity for you. Or a new opportunity, maybe I should say, for you. Um, with the, the Empress and the Seven of Wands, I feel like this is definitely going to put you in a better position than you are now. You're just kind of nervous about it, and you just, you're unsure. So, you I feel like you hadn't been in this position before. So, you're just like, and, you know, let's take it a little slow. Which is understandable. That's fine. Uh, let's get a couple more cards here from this Manifest Soulmate deck. And let's see what we have for Capricorn. Let's go ahead and pull and see what we have. Alright. So we have Fall in Love When You're Ready, Not When You're Lonely. Okay. Harmony is Pure Love, for Love is Complete Agreement. Yeah. You definitely got to both come to agreement on this movement. Oh. And don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. Yeah. I feel like some of you Capricorns are going to choose this opportunity for whoever it resonates with. Some of you are going to choose this opportunity, but I do feel like um, some of you aren't going to choose it. Or this may be the breaking point for this person. Like they're probably saying, hey, I want you to come visit me. Or hey, we should definitely move in. If they're proposing to you or whatever it is and you may shut them down. I feel like they may turn away with this here don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you i feel i feel like if you do decide to turn them down you're going to make them feel like they're unwanted so they're definitely going to uh turn away from you this may be their breaking point um but i do feel like you feel this is a very good positive relationship with the harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement i feel like if you both come to the agreement that this is an opportunity for love here Okay, you guys are definitely going to be in love. And then this card here is fall in love when you are ready, not when you are lonely. I don't see you as being lonely. Again, I see you as being very comfortable where you are. Okay, you don't seem lonely at all. So I feel like when this love offering does come in, it's going to be in the time that the universe is meant for it to come in. Okay, but Capricorn, that is what I have for you today. I hope that this helps you out out there. If it does, feel free to share your story with others. I'm sure others would love to read it. I love to read them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.